Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson five. And in this lesson, students are gonna be composing a new shape from composite shapes. So what does that mean? Basically, parents and teachers, we're gonna be using the tangram, the classic tangram, to allow students to play with shapes, practice the, their vocabulary, things like square, triangles. A new one is gonna be parallelogram. And we're gonna be using these figures to build stuff and practice using vocabulary in an authentic way. So let's get started. So parents and teachers, a cool idea might be, so of course, first off, this is a tangram, right? And, and this tangram is broken up into these little pieces here, and they're, it's a classic uh, Chinese puzzle. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces, and of course you can build it and rotate, and then, you know, thousands of years of, of people playing with this, this puzzle, uh, we've created lots of lots of cool, real, des neato designs. And so, of course, so one thing, parents and teachers, is we could simply buy these puzzle pieces and give them to your kids. However, another idea is, well, let's allow, at least for a moment, allow our students some time to try and build it themselves. So I'm going to walk you quickly through how to help students um, make their own tangram kit. And then if you want, <clears throat> afterwards, you could give them an official puzzle, you know, tangram puzzle pieces. Uh, but the act of making your own tangram requires some great vocabulary. So I'm going to walk you through that real quick. So we're going to start with um, a square, all right? So you're going to start with a square, and then you're going to tell your students, okay, first fold along this diagonal, all right? So that's going to make two large triangles, and they can cu they cut it out. Then they're going to take this triangle and fold it in half right here, and that's going to make two triangles and you take those two triangles and put them aside because you are now done with those two pieces. Now for this puzzle piece right here, it's kind of tricky, but what you're going to do is you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it straight down to here. And what that's going to do is that's going to create this crease right here and you cut it out and now you have this triangle. So you've got your two big triangles, You've got your medium-sized triangle, and now we've got this trapezoid that's here, all right? And you get to use these vocabulary words, right? And you've got a trapezoid, so what you're going to do, it's a, it happens to be an equilateral trapezoid, or no, an isosceles trapezoid, because this and this are the same length. And so you can fold it in half, and you are going to create a crease right here. So you're going to take this corner, fold it over to this corner, and that's going to create a crease right here. You're going to cut it in half, cut that crease, and now you've got these two trapezoids. Now you've got two trapezoids. And the way you cut this one is uh, you just take this corner and you fold it to this corner, and it's going to create a crease right here. And I'll do it in blue. And it and it's going to create that crease and cut it. And now you have your square and your tiny triangle. And then you take this one. Now this one's a little on the tricky side. It's a trapezoid. But you take this corner. It's that right corner, that right angle. That square corner is, is what Eureka is calling it. And you fold it down to this corner right here. So you take this corner. You fold it down to this corner, and that's going to create this crease. And you cut it, and now you have your parallelogram, you have your small triangle, and you have all seven of your pieces. So that's a, a nice, fun <laughs> way to get your kiddos to try and make their own tangram. You know, it, honestly, it's just an opportunity for your students to practice scissors. It's time to practice vocabulary. And, you know, th let them cut and let them have fun. The, quite frankly, the resulting tangram is probably going to be a mess, 
but it will have been worth it. And then once they've gone through it, they can play with it, but then you can go ahead and give them a more official uh, Tangram puzzle kit. And once you've got your Tangram puzzles, you know, your official ones over here, uh, follow the directions to make each shape below. So you're going to use two Tangram pieces to make one triangle. Well, the act of creating the Tangrams might help the students go, oh yeah, wait a second, if I take this one and I take this one, I remember that makes a triangle. Boom. So the act of making the tangram might be a foreshadowing to help students answer some of these questions, right? Use a square and a triangle to make one trapezoid. So here's your square um, right here. Here's your square. And then here's a triangle. And if we wanted to, we could do that. And there is our trapezoid. Remember, a trapezoid has at least one pair of parallel lines. So there it is. There's your, your answer. And then we could just keep going. But the point of this lesson, parents and teachers, is to allow your students to play with the geometry and practice all that wonderful vocabulary. And the last one, just allow your students to get some creative juices flowing. They're going to make an animal with all of their pieces and they're going to draw it. You know, there, there's that classic cat that is often made, but you know, parents and teachers, let your, let your kids have fun. Let them just put these together in some creative way to make a, an animal and let them talk about it. Yeah, I think in first grade, once they've written it, let them write a story. Let them tell the story about this animal and how it came to be. And that wraps up first grade module five, lesson five, using those tangrams to compose new shapes.